my friends! Welcome back to Brilliant Diamond! Okay guys, it's finally time. It's finally time to challenge the League. So I've heard some uh, horrible things about this rematch. I hear it's way more brutal than the first rematch and they're all higher level and they all have like full parties, like all of them, all of the members of the Elite Four. So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little worried that I might fail, but I'm gonna try my best. My Pokemon haven't really changed since the last time I challenged it. I have not grinded at all for this. I haven't done anything. I've probably gained a few levels here and there from just catching like some of the legendaries and stuff but for the most part, they're still exactly the same. It's still the same bitty team that it's always been. I'm not changing them, even though I know there's probably better Pokemon I could be using, but um, they still have the same health items that they've had since forever ago. I haven't changed that at all. They also all have the same moves that they have had, but I'll go ahead and just cycle through them real quick so you can take a look. And there you go. As for the items, I haven't really bought too many more items because I bought so many last time and I ended up not really using them. So I'm hoping what I have is enough. So I have some antidotes, some paralyzed heals, some super potions, some awakenings, you know, these heals and stuff like that. I have about 27 full heals, 25 revives. I have just like a couple ethers. I have 26 hyper potions. 44 max potions, which I'm hoping is good enough if I really need to be like spamming these bad boys. I've got, you know, a couple ether, some max ethers. I have 45 full restores, which again, I'm hoping that's more than enough if I really need to be spamming these. Uh, some max elixirs, some max revives, and 44 revival herbs, you know, just, just in case. My Pokemon may end up hating me for using these, but you know, <laughs> I want to revive them with full health if I need to. That's pretty much what I have in terms of items. I still haven't bought any of those like X items, you know, like X attack, X defense. I think that's what they're called. I'm, I'm not using those unless I fail and I feel like I need them, then maybe I'll try them out. Anyway, I saved. I went ahead and I put Pepper in my first slot because I know the first guy is the bug guy. I'm really hoping he's as easy as he's been the first two tries, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, let's let's just do it. Let's rip off this band-aid. Let's just give it a go. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I hear the second rematch is like absolutely brutal, so I'm just I'm honestly prepared to lose. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you're the wimpiest of the Elite Four. Hopefully I don't have too much trouble with you. Hey there, Biddy. I had a hunch you'd be back for more battles. I guess you could say a little bug told me. <laughs> Okay, Aaron. And I can tell just by looking that your Pokemon are more beautiful and polished than before. Of course, so are mine. So now, let me show you the evolutionary power of bug Pokemon. Okay, Aaron. I'm really hoping Aaron's not gonna be too much of a problem. But I also don't wanna like <laughs> underestimate him, you know? Yep, full party. That's awesome. Yon Mega. You know, the really sad part is it's also been so long since I've challenged this league, I've forgotten a lot of the Pokemon they used to have. Except for Cynthia. I can never forget Cynthia's Pokemon. That woman really left a mark in my mind. I forgot Pepper had Intimidate. <laughs> I'm glad I put Pepper first. Okay, well, I guess we'll go ahead and try Aerial Ace. Oh, great. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Speed boost. What is that from? I guess I, I'm gonna just assume that has to do with its ability. Of course, now he gets to go first. Ancient power? Oh! Okay, this, <laughs> this isn't starting off good. Oh my God. If I can hit him again, I can kill him. But if he hits me with earth power, he's probably gonna kill Pepper. Speed boost? Speed boost, he's gonna go first. Oh no. You think Pepper will die? I would do substitute, but he's just gonna kill the substitute like immediately. You know what would have been good? If I did substitute the first turn <laughs> when he like protected himself. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, uh, what should I do? I don't think Pepper will die. Maybe Pepper will stay with like one HP. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna just do it. Detect. Oh, thank God. Aaron was stupid. Yes. Wait, wait, what am I saying? I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so, it's like I wasn't even thinking. Okay, well, I'll do the gamble again, I guess. Yeah, there's ancient power. Come on, Pepper, just hold on for me, buddy. Just hold on for me, yes! <laughs> okay, Yanmika's gonna die, and then I'm gonna have to heal Pepper. Okay, that's one down. This isn't looking good, guys. If Aaron's gonna give me a hard time, I don't have faith that the rest aren't gonna give me a hard time. You know, I didn't see what level his Yanmika was. Vespa Queen. See, I feel like Pepper would be fine against Vespa Queen, but I have to heal Pepper. I'll just keep Pepper and I'll heal it. She's level 77. A nerve. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. Okay, whatever. He's always had that ability every time. Okay, we're just gonna go in with the max potion. We're not even taking a chance on those hyper potions. Hopefully she doesn't have some ancient power, some 
bullshit is gonna like hurt Pepper a ton. Power jump. Uh, okay, okay, that didn't do too much. That didn't do too much. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna just we're just gonna keep going with aerial ace. Okay, beautiful. I like doing aerial ace because it says it never misses. <laughs> I love that soothe bell. It doesn't really replenish that much HP, but it, oh my god, what is she doing? What was that? Oh, it was a it was a citrus berry. Yeah, man, I forgot about those berries. It'll all come back to me throughout this whole challenge. I'm gonna have to heal Pepper again, but it's fine. We're gonna just kill her first. Oh my god, no! I thought I was gonna get to kill her! I feel like I can kill her without worrying about Pepper dying for this turn. Unless he pulls a full restore out of his ass, okay. You know what? It's fine. I'll at least get to hurt her. I forgot about the full restores. I forgot about the full restores. And that hurts so hard the first time, and then it doesn't hurt that much the second time. I'm gonna have to heal Pepper. I don't trust that it's- I don't trust that Pepper's not gonna die. You know, maybe I should've bought more potions. <laughs> I don't like that I'm using all these potions on the first person. I don't like this. Maybe it won't be so bad later. Okay, okay. I just need to kill this bitch. I just need to kill this bitch! No, not bag. Okay. Aerial Ace. Come on, Pepper. Okay, perfect. Okay, we've got two of his down. We need four more to go. Heracross, and we're gonna keep Pepper. We're gonna keep Pepper. I think his Heracross never really gave me too much problems either. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and <laughs> use Aerial Ace again. I'm gonna have to start using Wing Attack. Perfect, okay, easy. Heracross is like the freebie. Okay, Butter has reached 90. Our MVP has reached 90, Flygon. See, so I know Flygon, I actually learned this really recently. I know Flygon isn't a bug type. I know it's uh, it's ground and I think it's dragon. I know for sure it's ground. I think for Flygon, we're gonna actually switch out. And I th I think Ice worked on him. Um, I think I'm gonna use, since it's half ground, I don't wanna use Rocco. I think I'm gonna use Butter because Butter also knows an Ice move. Okay, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna go hard with the Ice. Boom burst. Oh God. Ugh. That did a lot more damage than I'm comfortable with. Oh, but we got it. We got it. As long as like they don't have grass types to kill butter, I think butter's always gonna be like okay. Oh, uh, Rocco grew to 91. At least we can get a little bit of XP like on our way to on our way up to Cynthia. Scissor, Scissor. I don't remember if we had Scissor before. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go back to Pepper. I'm pretty sure Scissor is at least half bug, right? <laughs> Okay. Oh no, the the flying moves are only effective. That's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and do wing attack. Please don't miss. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that sucked. Oh no, not swords dance. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out. I'm just gonna switch out. I'm not gonna sit here and like pretend that this is going well. Dude, I have nothing that's super effective against this guy. Okay, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try bring out Rocco. <laughs> Maybe we can whirlpool it so it can start taking damage every turn. Sword stance again. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there's the whirlpool. That actually didn't do too bad of damage. Sword stance again. I don't like this, guys. Whenever he decides to attack, I feel like he's gonna just absolutely obliterate whatever Pokemon's out. If I could just kill him before he <laughs> attacks, that'd be great, but I don't know if I will be able to. Should I just do drill pack? I can try, I guess. It's got higher damage than Pepper's. Oh my God, the Whirlpool's gonna kill him. No, here it comes. Oh God, it actually didn't kill. It didn't kill Rocco though. Wow. Well, maybe I should have bought more potions. Why did I sit there and be like, I don't need to buy more potions, guys. I should be fine. Oh my God, and he still has one more Pokemon. Drapion. I think Drapion's the one he had before. I kind of remember this one because this one also wasn't a bug type. So I think for Drapion, I used Butter. I'll just give it a try. If anything, the only thing that can really obliterate Butter is Grass moves, which I don't think is Drapion has. Not yet. We'll keep struggling till the very end. Yeah, you do that, Aaron. Yeah, Earth Power. Okay, hopefully. Ooh, hey, I went first because of my Quick Claw. Thank goodness. Maybe we can just kill it. Maybe we just kill it. Yes! Butter, you're always the MVP. I freaking called Butter the VIP last time, like a dummy. Instead of, I, was, I meant MVP every time I said that. Okay, Aaron's down. None of my Pokemon died. I lost completely, but I think you've come to realize how great buck Pokemon can be. Sure, man, that's, that's exactly why I have zero buck Pokemon on my team.
This brings me back to when I first discovered bug Pokemon. I couldn't believe how sharply they'd polished their survivor skills. Ever since then, I've devoted myself to following the beauty of the bug type, but not as much as it bugs me to lose like this to you. <laughs> I'll never stop aiming for perfection. That way, I can keep on showing the wonder of bug Pokemon to the world. All right, Aaron, you do that. And now, on to the next room. My bug Pokemon have already spread the buzz about your victory. That's a great, man. Okay, let me... <laughs> Let me heal my poor Pokemon. I don't think we did too bad, but I really don't like, I really don't like uh, how many potions I ended up having to use. Like it wasn't too many in total, but it was still more than uh, I was comfortable with. <laughs> Makes me really nervous for the future people. Okay, all healed up. I went ahead and I put Rocco in the first slot for this one, because I know the next one's Bertha. And I know that grass type moves are good against her, right? <laughs> the only problem is I think she has like ground type moves, which like really hurt Rocco. So I don't know about this. But anyway, let's give it a try. Oh, if it isn't Biddy, you sure look different from the last time we met. Yeah, it's because I traveled to the past lady and I met God and stuff. It's the crazy stuff. Why? Now you hold yourself just like an adult. You remind me of when I was young. <laughs> but I know you're not here to hear an old lady's ramblings. Let's let the battle do the talking. All right, Bertha. I'm really nervous for this one. I wonder if Flint's going to actually have fire type Pokemon. I forgot if you guys told me that he does or not. Because I know his first match, he only had like what, like one fire type or something? Wish Cash. So I think Wish Cash is kind of like butter where it's only weak to grass types. Hopefully we can just kill it in one go, but I'm really afraid. We're so much higher level than her Pokemon. At least Rocco is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What, what did that berry do? I think it just made the first grass type move not effective. Yeah, okay. Maybe ne maybe the next move it'll be okay. Oh, but she's gonna use Earthquake. Oh, okay. I think we're faster, so I think I can just kill it. Okay, gotta get in. And then I'll have to heal Rock or like take him out or something, because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work out. All right, Pepper grew to 88. Gliscor. Gliscor? The thing is, I can't remember most of Bertha's team. I just know a lot of them were ground or like half ground. I'm gonna just keep Rocco for now and whatever. If I have to revive him, I'll revive him. I just hope she's not faster than I am. Oh, Whirlpool and Ice Beam. <gasps> I'm very tempted to do Whirlpool. Ooh, no, no, I think I'll, I think I'll do Ice Beam. <gasps> no, she's faster. Oh, I should have switched Rocco out. I wasn't counting on her being faster. No. Okay, but Ice Beam was super effective. All right, Butter, you're up, buddy. Butter should be able to live the Earthquakes. I could also do Scald if I really want to, but we'll just do Ice Beam. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> It'd be great if we could just kill it in one hit, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I should have just done Butter first. Oh my god, I let Rocco die for no reason. Mamoswine. See, I know Ice Beam's not going to work on a Mamoswine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just... Just hear me out, okay? I'm gonna just try, try Pepper. I guess Bloon might also work. Earthquake shouldn't affect Pepper, right? Oh, and Pepper has Intimidate. Yes, I always forget about that. <gasps> close combat. Should I just do it? I feel like I ended up not really using close combat that much last time. Oh my god. Oh, don't hurt too much. <laughs> okay. I don't think I don't think Pepper's gonna be able to withstand another one though. If only it died. If only it died. If only it died. My defense fell. Special defense fell. Why? Oh, the Soothe Bell. You guys think Pepper can withstand another one of those? Like the things she just did? Should I just do it? Oh my god, I don't know. I just wanted to die. I don't know if I should just sit here and be sacrificing my Pokemon. Like she still has like three other ones after this one. I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just do it. I should just substitute. Oh, <gasps> Pepper! Pepper! Oh my god. I just don't miss. Yes. Okay, Mama Weinstein. Okay, I feel like that was really lucky. Oh my god, my defense and special defense. I'm gonna end up just switching Pepper out because of that. Dude, I love the Soothe Bell. I feel like I have leftovers now too that I had found a while back, but whatever. Nido King. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I was considering Bloon because Bloon's also half flying. I don't know. I can go I can go back to Butter. Let me just try Butter. Let me just try Butter. I feel like I'm doing so bad because I just don't know what I'm doing half the time. Man, I don't freaking know. I don't know. Let's give Skull to try. Of course you're faster. Earth power, come on. <gasps> oh my God, if that hurt that much, like if that hurt Butter that much, I don't think Butter can sit there and tank Cynthia's Garchomp this time around. And that really scares me. Butter cannot withstand another one of those. It'll die and it's slower. Like unless my Quick Law just 
kicks in this next turn. It's not gonna work out. Oh my god. Skull did okay though, which is the annoying part. Let me let me give Balloon a try. I feel like I'm all over the place in this battle this time around. A full restore. I forgot that they even use those. No! <laughs> No, oh, I could have just hit it again with freaking butter. Here, let me try, let me try Psychic. Oh, I'm faster, I think. Okay, that did great. And I'm faster, so as long as Bloom doesn't die. Ice Beam, yeah. I hate how smart they are. <sighs> that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, I think I can- I, I'm faster though. I'm faster. I think I can kill it. Okay. I'm always so worried about missing when I do stuff- when I do stuff like that. Guys, this is not going- <laughs> I feel like this is not going that smoothly. I'm really scared. Hip out on. Oh my god. Hip out on. I would use grass, but like rock was dead. I would just keep good old butter, but I feel like butter's gonna just die. Man, I don't- I actually don't know what to do. Um, maybe I'll do butter and I'll just heal him on the first turn. I don't know. Because I don't think Bloon's going to cut it. <laughs> yeah, Sandstream, whatever. Okay, we're going to just <laughs> go ahead and heal Bloon immediately. Yeah, yeah, Earthquake. Man, don't hurt too much. God, that hurts so much. That hurts so much. No, no, not, not the potion. Butter's not going to live another one of those. I don't know. I think Rocco might be faster than her Pokemon. At least I'm hoping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Revival Herb, I guess, on Rocco. To revive it with full HP and I'll just have to sacrifice butter and hopefully Rocco will just be faster than her and I can like hit it with a grass move. I'm sorry butter. I'm so sorry. God, and it crit. This is not going smoothly guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's go Rocco. I'm counting on you buddy. Oh, Ice Beam also works. Ice Beam also works. It could also freeze him too. How heavy is it powered on? Because apparently this move does more if it's heavy. Oh my god, we'll see. We'll just see. Yes! Oh my god, no! A little speck of HP! No! Rock! He's not gonna live. There's no way! <gasps> he lived! He lived, guys! He lived! I think I go first. I go first. I can just kill her. I can just kill it. Okay. Dude, we're down to one, one left for her. I'm so scared of Cynthia, guys. This is not... <laughs> this is not giving me confidence. Rhyperior. I actually don't know. Okay, this is gonna be really this might be a really stupid idea i'm gonna keep rocco okay uh -huh, victory might be in sight but take care of blah 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 okay whatever she said god that goes by so fast but i'm gonna keep rocco okay i'm gonna count on being faster than her and i'll get one hit in okay i'm gonna assume my period is also heavy so i'm gonna just hit her with this and if i don't kill her in one hit rocco's gonna die yeah okay rocco's gonna die and then i'll just switch to maybe luxray or butter, I don't know, not butter. Or uh, pepper to intimidate it. And then I'll, I'll just sacrifice that Pokemon while I revive Rocco to the hit it with Grass Knot again. That's my that's my move. That's my power play. Here, I guess we'll try with pepper. I will intimidate her. And then I'll just use the turn to revive Rocco again. And then on the turn where Pepper dies, I'll bring out Rocco and I'll use Grass. No matter where you stand, you can always count on the ground beneath your feet. Yeah, whatever. You know, that's not really true, lady, if there's like an earthquake. Dude, I could just hit her though. I could just hit her. What if I just hit her? The thing is, do I want to use close combat, right? It has three PP left. I feel like I want to use that for something in the future. What if I just hit her with like aerial ace? This might be so stupid, but I can try. She has such little HP, but this is not very effective. What if it only does like one HP of damage? Okay, it's fine. I'll do it. 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 If Pepper dies, Oh my god, perfect. Okay, that's good. Th that'll save me a revive because that was her last Pokemon. But if Pepper died, I was going to just send out Lubby to intimidate her again and then definitely revive Rocco at that point. Okay, Bertha's done. I kept almost calling her Agatha for some reason. I'm very impressed. Your strength shook me like a tremor from the earth itself. I'm so nervous for the remaining people, guys. Now then, let me leave you with a last little bit of advice. Even if you find yourself losing someday, and even if your feelings are crushed, remember to remain as strong as the earth beneath your feet. Thanks, lady. <laughs> I look forward to seeing just how far you go. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and heal my poor Pokemons. Only two dead, though. At least I'm not, like, wiping. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Okay, all healed. I went ahead and put Butter this time for the first one instead of Rocco. Okay, I'm hoping Flint won't be so bad, but... <laughs> 
I guess it depends on what his team is. Yo, Biddy. I've been boiling over waiting to see you again. Any battle with you is guaranteed to get heated. But right now, my soul is burning at 15 million degrees. Hotter than the surface of the sun. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that kid I escorted in the uh, volcano his little brother or something? All right, Flint. Let's see if you have a bunch of fire types this time. Okay, nine tails. I don't remember whose fire type was the first time around. I can't remember. I've already completely forgotten what his second team is. Drought. Oh, no. See, I know now. I actually know that drought increases fire type moves and I think decreases water type moves. Oh, man. So I don't know if I should use Scald. Oh, I can use Earth Power. I'm going to just use Earth Power. I've got some Elixirs. I'll use some before Cynthia's fight if I need to. Oh, absorbed Light. Wait, what move did he use? <laughs> I didn't see. Solar Beam. Wait. Oh, no. That goes in the same turn because of the sunny... Oh my god. No, my ace in the hole. What am I supposed to do now? Oh my god. Should I just do rock and do whirlpool? Uh, my butter was my ace in the hole, man. What the heck? Nobody else has super effective moves. No, no, no. Why? Dude, doing solar beam in one turn is such bullshit. I remember the first time that happened. I didn't understand why it happened. Why do you get to go first? How fast is he? He's even faster than Rocco. Oh my god, please don't hurt Rocco that much. Rocco's a water type. Oh, thank goodness. Man, that really hurt Butter, though. Why? Oh god, that sucked. At least, at least Ninetales isn't trapped. Oh man, how much PP does Solar Beam have? I want to say it's five, but I don't know. I just don't even want to bother reviving Butter for this because Butter, like, Butter got one-shotted. Oh my gosh, should I just keep using Whirlpool? <laughs> I don't know what else to use against Nightales. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, screw you, dude. I think I'll kill it within like the next couple turns at, at least. All right, let's go. We'll pull again. <laughs> A full restore! Dude, I hate when they use full restores. I hate it. We're gonna just keep. Yeah, yeah, use your freaking. How many times? This is like the third time, right? Oh, this doesn't hurt Rocco that much. Still hurts more than I'm than I, I would like it to hurt, but. Okay, well, I don't think he's gonna use another full restore. So I think we're good on that front. Oh my god! Why did that hurt so much? That hurt even more than like freaking Solar Beam. She's finally dead. But Rocco's like a hurt to oblivion now. Infernape. Well, I would switch to freaking Butter, but you know, Butter's dead. Dude, I don't know. I kind of want to switch to maybe Lubby and then just use the sacrifice to maybe revive Butter. I just I don't want to keep spamming Whirlpool because it doesn't have that much PP. Okay, there's Infernape. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna just revive Butter. Because Butter has a water type move too. I still don't know why the heck freaking Solar Beam hurt Butter so much because Butter's half water. <laughs> you know, that actually didn't hurt Lubby too much. But Lubby's attacks don't really work too well on Infernape. Uh, should I use. I think I might use the opportunity to also heal Rocco. I'm sorry, Lubby. I'm using so many sacrifices this time around. Oh, um, oh, he's not gonna die. Oh, no, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna die. <laughs> oh, lovey, I'm sorry. Oh, the harsh sunlight faded. <gasps> Poor lovey. Oh my god. Thank you for your contribution, lovey. <laughs> oh, does that mean water type moves are going to do good now? I'm still going to send up butter, though. Well, I guess well, I'd, I'd rather use Scald then because I know my... um. Oh my god, why, though? But why? A crit? Is that why? Ugh, defense foul. Maybe I can just kill it. Just kill it. Uh, no! Is it the focus sash? Is that what it is? That's what it is. Got it. I God. Did I just healed? Butter's not going to live. Butter's not going to live. Look how much HP he has. What am I supposed to do now? Dude, I've only killed one of his Pokemon. This is not going good at all. I could try to use Scald and maybe gamble that a Quick Claw will activate, but I don't think it will. But I can give it a try, I guess. Oh, <gasps> it did. My gamble paid off. No, it didn't. He still went first. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. What was the point of that then? If he gets to go first, I guess we'll give Rocco a go. I guess we're going back to good old Whirlpool. God, if he just had Whirlpool on him, he would have actually already died. Why? Why? He's so annoying. Oh my God. Okay. Because Inferno finally died, Arcanine. Ugh, I don't know, dude. I guess we'll just keep freaking Rocco. I feel like every time I send... Ugh, intimidate. I feel like every time I send out Butter, Butter just gets obliterated by everything. But Rocco's so hurt. Rocco's so hurt. I feel like I should, like, heal him. I just... I don't trust he's not going to do some crazy thing. Oh my god. I'm just going to heal him and see, see what Flint does. Close combat. Okay. No. <laughs> no. I don't know what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I hope I'm not slower than him, but I'm going to whirlpool him. Nope, I'm slower than him. I'm not whirling pulling him. Never mind. I was going to whirlpool him to just get that on him and then just let Rocco die to switch to somebody else. This is not going good. Why is Flint so annoying? Oh my <laughs> Guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Cynthia. If I can't even like kill the people before her easily, like this isn't going to work out. I don't know, man. Okay, I'm going to try Pepper to intimidate him, I guess. Should I do substitute? <laughs> I feel like that's so stupid. I feel like he's gonna just kill it like immediately. Okay, I'm reviving Butter, I guess. I don't know. How many close combats has he used? Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. I think Flare Bits recoils though. Yes, it does. Okay, we're reviving Rocco. This is not good, guys. <laughs> just, I'm not very confident in this. Pepper's probably gonna die. Or not. Wow. Okay, good job, Pepper. What the heck? Should I just try attacking with Pepper <laughs> to at least do something? The other thing I was thinking was to use the turn where Pepper dies to just revive Lubby to then intimidate him again. But I don't know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just attack him, I think. We'll do wing attack and see how it, how it goes. Never mind, he's gonna just die. He's gonna just die. <gasps> Pepper, you toughed it out, buddy! Oh, Pepper! Wow! Why did that do so good? That did a critical hit! <laughs> what? Why did that do? Amazing. Okay, dude, Pepper. Oh my god. Pepper doesn't get sacrificed after all. Rapid Ash. Okay, okay, okay. Revive Butter. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe this time Butter won't get obliterated. Just to open. Okay, let's do Scald. Hypnosis. No. No! No, 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 no. Butter, just wake up. Oh my God. Okay, look. So here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm trying to get into the mind of Flint here. So I think he's going to attack next turn, right? Like I could go in my bag and I could get an awakening and wake up Butter, but I feel like he's going to just attack me next time. And what if it hurts a lot, right? So what if instead I try attacking, maybe Butter will wake up, but he probably won't, right? And if he doesn't, whatever, he doesn't wake up, he gets hurt by whatever Flint decides to do. And then that way next time, I'll just use a full restore so I can wake him up and heal him. Because if I use an awakening now and he gets hurt after he wakes up, I'm going to have to use an item again anyway. You know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> This might be just like the stupidest thing ever. The flare blitz. What did I say? That actually didn't hurt that much. That actually didn't hurt that much. That actually didn't hurt that much. Butter woke up though. Look, oh dude, guys, am I not a genius? Am I not a genius? And Rapid Ash died. Oh my God. Okay, I'm glad to know flare blitz doesn't really do that much to, oh God, Hound Doom. Hound Doom. Is that half fired? Okay, I'm gonna just, we're just keeping butter. We're just keeping butter. I think butter just had a really bad time with like solar beam. And what and what what was that other one? I think it was close combat also like destroyed him. I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna worry about healing. Oh, rock smash. We're just gonna scald. We're just gonna scald. He's gonna go first because of course he is. I don't remember what nasty plot does. I think it's just a buff for him. Yeah. Special attack rose. Okay. Oh my god! Ooh, as long as he doesn't kill butter. I can kill him next turn. Oh my god, please, please let that make me go first. Please make me go first. Oh my god. I, I didn't know that he could use more full restores. I swear he used one in the beginning. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We scald. And we killed him. I hope you're happy that you wasted that full restore, Flint. Thank goodness. We still have one more, right? Oh, butter, good 91. Mag Mortar. He definitely has more fire types this time. Okay, no, no. We're sticking with butter. We're sticking with butter. 
Hey, I'm about to go full throttle. Okay, I think this is the last Pokemon. Okay, butter has been doing good so far. He did terrible in the beginning, but I guess we're just doing Scald. We're just doing Scald. Okay, okay, we get to go first, maybe? Uh, yes. If we, could, if we could kill it in one hit, that'd be amazing, but we're not going to. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, no. Oh, is that why we couldn't kill it? No, it's a Citrus Berry. It's fine, it's fine. Next time we can kill it. If, as long as Butter doesn't die or get too hurt, we can... You, I avoided the attack! Things are getting so hot, I can see the heat waves! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this might be it. This might be it. <gasps> it activated again! Okay. Yes! Oh, we did it, guys! We did it. Oh my god, we're done with, the, with this guy. That was awful. That was awful. I'm just so surprised Butter did so bad in the beginning. 89 and 82 for Bloon. Or Bloon, still my lowest level. Unbelievable! What a burning passion! <laughs> You're like the sun to your own solar system, Biddy! <laughs> Thanks, man! That's quite the compliment! Oh my god. That was awful. Woo! Burn right down to cinders. I swear he said that last time. Let's do this again sometime. Yeah, probably not, Flint. God, I actually sorted my items. It's amazing. Okay, I healed my Pokemon. I put Bloon in my first slot. Now we get to fight the final one, guys. Bef the final one before Cynthia. <laughs> Please don't be too difficult. Ah, uh, you've timed your arrival perfectly. I'm still quite worked up from the book I just finished. I'm pretty sure Lucian is the descendant of freaking Mali from Legends Arceus. After seeing all you've accomplished thus far, Biddy, I can certainly tell you this. You are the protagonist of your own story, and perhaps that just makes me an obstacle standing in the way of your heroic journey. You are an obstacle in my way, Lucian. Then again, maybe in this retelling I'll finally trip you up. Wouldn't that be an intriguing plot twist? I don't like that plot twist, Lucian. <laughs> How about you don't do that? Okay, here we go. Starting off with Mr. Mime. I feel like this Mr. Mime puts up barriers or something. Yeah, I think I want to do Shadow Ball first. Light screen. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Strong against physical moves. Wait, did it say physical or special? Damn it. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. Oh no. It's super effective. And it did that little. How long does that last? Special move. Maybe I'll do Phantom Force. Psychic. Ah, why are you faster? It doesn't hurt that much though. Yeah, screw you, Lucian. Attack nothing. All right, Phantom Force. Perfect. Okay, yeah, he's stronger against special. Does that stick around even after Mr. Mime dies? I don't remember. Oh, good job, Bloon. I can't even see the heart above your head. <laughs> Espeon. Now we're gonna just stick with Bloon for the time being. I'm gonna just do Phantom Force because I don't know if that light screen's still up. Oh, Shadow Ball. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Blue's gonna die next turn. Maybe. He is faster, actually. He is faster. He's gonna waste his turn. Yeah. Oh, hey. That's nice. Oh my god. Beautiful. But Blue's gonna die next time now, though. Okay. Rocco's level 92. Rocco's slowly inching his way to level 100. Bronzong. I remember Bloon's like super good against Bronzong. I don't remember why. <laughs> oh man, every I swear, every time I go up against Bronzong, my Bloon is super like hurt or dead or something. I could always put out Pepper maybe? Maybe I can intimidate it with Pepper and while I like heal up Bloon or something. I never know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm healing Bloon. Pepper could potentially die. Gyro Ball. Pepper lived. <laughs> Make it hit it. Oh, close combat. Ugh. I forgot what I was even saving close combat for. I don't know if it was for this guy. Let's give it a try. <laughs> that did awful. That did, oh, What a waste of a close combat. That did terrible. Just gyro ball again. Oh, Pepper. I'm sorry, buddy. I like to let them die because then when I switch over to Bloon, I don't get like a turn spent just sending him out and then getting hit. <laughs> I hate that shit. Since I know he's faster, probably, I think I'll go ahead and just do Phantom Force. I'm, I'm faster. I don't, oh man, I don't know it was faster. Oh, their light screen wore off. 
Oh my god. He back. Oh no. Ugh, why? 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 I'm faster though, apparently. So the light screen wore off. Maybe I can just do Shadow Ball. I'm gonna give Shadow Ball a try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you know what? At least I use Shadow Ball. It's fine. It's fine because I'll still be faster next turn too. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And he wasted his full restore. I'm gonna have to heal Bloon again though. This feels like it's going a lot more smoothly than Flint, which is kind of funny. Alakazam. I would just keep Bloon, but Bloon's so hurt. You know, I could give Fist a try. Why don't I why don't I do that? <laughs> Let's give Fist a try. I forgot Fist had a ghost type move. I like don't ever use Lucario for some reason. I don't know why, but Lucario always feels really squishy to me. Maybe it's just me. Oh, Dark Pulse works too. Ooh, should I do Dark Pulse? I guess we give Dark Pulse a try. Oh my god, of course he's faster. What's the point of making a flinch if he's gonna go first anyway? Special attack, Rose. Oh no. Oh, that did so good. That did so good, but I'm really scared when he goes first next time. He's gonna just kill Lucario. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, just live Lucario. I just need you to live. Oh no! <laughs> this is what I mean! Lucario just always dies. I might send out Butter to like tank while I revive Bloon, maybe. Not revive Bloon, but like heal Bloon. Okay, there we go. I should have bought more potions. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to use that many potions before Cynthia. Maybe like a couple here and there. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. Well, Bloon it is. I'm going to assume he's faster than Bloon. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use Phantom Force. Let's give it a try. Oh my god, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Oh, <gasps> dude, he's <laughs> I think he's gonna just wipe me like right here now. I think it, I'm just gonna wipe immediately right here now. I have two left alive. I guess we'll send out Lovey and I'll have to revive somebody. Who do I revive though? Oh my god, I didn't see No! Oh no! I accidentally clicked again and used it on like nobody, essentially. What have I done? Why, why does the game even let you choose someone that's still alive when you're trying to revive? Oh no. What a mistake. What a freaking mistake. I didn't mean to click again. <laughs> why? No, get my finger off the button. Who do I even revive? He, it can kill Bloon in one hit and he's faster than Bloon. I don't think Pepper can live, right? I feel like Pepper lived before, I guess. I think it's over, guys. I think I'm going to just lose right here before I even get to Cynthia. Oh, now you're using Shockwave. What, did you run out of Psychics? Man, I kind of I kind of want to revive somebody else then. I want to take like the opportunity to revive somebody else. Or should I just hit him? I mean, Pepper's not really going to do much to him. I actually don't know what to do. Maybe I can Whirlpool it. I, I don't think I'm going to be faster than him. I really don't think I'm... Dude, he still has two Pokemon after this. I'm not faster than him. Oh, man. Okay. If I can't beat Lucian, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Cynthia. I have him down to like half health. I don't even know what the heck I hit him with to do that. I can't remember. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should even bother reviving Bloon again. It's just not going to work. I think Fist is the one that I actually hurt him with, but he's just so much faster than me. Maybe Lubby can like, I think Lubby has a dark type move. Shockwave. Oh my God. Why does he hit like a truck, dude? Maybe I can revive Butter. Shockwave shouldn't do anything to Butter. I don't think this intimidates or doing anything. Because I think a special attack is a thing that's like on steroids right now. I'm going to go ahead and revive Butter. He still has psychics, man. He still has psychics. Lubby lived, dude. Lubby lived. I'm going to try to hit him with Lubby and see how that does. It's super effective. If I can just go first, then I can at least kill his Alakazam. No. He's so much faster than me. He's so much faster than me. I should just healed. I should just revive a different Pokemon. Okay, well, I'm not taking chances because if if Butter dies, I lose. So we're reviving another guy. Maybe I can do Fist. I swear Fist is the one that hurt him that one time. <laughs> There's psychic. Dude, he's gonna run out of PP on that thing eventually, right? Oh my god, man. Oh my god. You know, I think I'm gonna just stop using the revival herbs because they just die in one hit anyway. Like I'll just use regular revives because <laughs> like this just isn't working. Dude, Fist actually lived. Fist actually lived. I can't believe it. 
I wish I counted how many times he's used it, right? Like, what if he's done? You know what? Even if he's done, he's still going to go before best. So it doesn't even matter. Oh, he still had another one. How many of these? How many times can you use that attack? Oh my god. Why does Butter only have half health? I guess I followed my own advice. Okay, well, I do have Lubby after this. He's gonna go faster than me. Oh my god. <gasps> Am I gonna actually go faster than him for once? Wow, holy crap. He's finally dead, guys. He's finally dead. He's finally dead. Oh my god. What a nightmare, dude. What a nightmare. That's not even his final Pokemon. Slow bro. I don't freaking know what the heck to Dude, most of my Pokemon are dead. What a disaster. Oh man. I could just keep butter and I could try reviving people. I might use the lobby against it or I might, I might try lobby against it like once butter dies. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, I revived Bloon. Oh no. Oh no, no, not the psychic. Okay, he doesn't hit as hard as the other guy. He's gonna be faster than me, probably. You know, I think for once I'm not gonna take the ch I'm not gonna take that gamble on the quick claw and I'm gonna just revive somebody else. Let's try Rocco. Okay, Rocco's revived. Slowly reviving my people. Butter's gonna die, probably. Okay, thanks Butter for your <laughs> tanking, I guess. I'm gonna try sending out Lubby and I'm gonna try actually attacking. Oh, Crunch also works. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Thunderbolt. He's probably gonna be faster because he's just- Oh, he's not faster! Holy shit! Wow! For the first time ever, he's not faster now. If he can just not kill Lubby. Just don't kill Lubby. Just don't kill Lubby. Okay, 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 that's great. I think we can do this. I think we got Slowbo. I think it's not gonna be a problem. I think his biggest problem was probably the Alakazam. Oh my god. Okay. Right, I forgot about those full restores. I forgot about those. Okay, it's fine. We're using Thunderbolt. Okay, we're gonna have to use it again. Perfect. Okay, screw the slow, bro. Okay, we have one Pokemon left, guys. We have one Pokemon left before the disaster that's gonna be Cynthia. Delayed. Part of me wants to just do the thing again where I just keep Lovey out and revive somebody else, but maybe I should. And you know what? I'll, I'll do what I said. I don't know why I'm playing so carefully with against this guy. I don't even care about what he said. I just noticed this Pokeball, like when he sent out the Pokemon, it like, it got all, it was all fancy. Okay, I'm gonna heal Pepper. Close combat? Oh, lovey. I'm so sorry, buddy. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna try Bloon. I don't think close combat's gonna do anything to Bloon, right? Because fighting doesn't work against ghosts. I'm gonna assume he's faster. Oh, God. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's try Phantom Forest. Let's try Phantom Forest. He is faster. Psycho cut. Oh, God. Oh, God. I like the, using this one because I feel like it just makes him like <laughs> waste a turn the next time. Oh my god, perfect! I was really worried about this this thing. Man, the hardest part of his team was definitely Alakazam. I don't know why that thing like it's psychic just hit like a freaking truck. It was like the guard top of his team. Oh my god, I am not confident against Cynthia. So it goes. You held the whole course of the battle in the palm of your hand. I concede defeat. I used every stratagem at my command, but you persevered through them all. Now all that remains is for you to write your own epilogue. Next, I think I'd like to read a book about a star. One small light illuminating a galaxy of darkness. You do that, dude. God, that was, that was brutal, guys. Oh my god. I am so nervous about Cynthia. I don't think this is gonna go well. Okay, guys. This is it. I've restored my Pokemon. I, I replenished some of the PP of a, like a couple of them, like mainly Butter and Pepper and Rocco. And I put Rocco first because I'm anticipating she's probably gonna have Spiritomb come out first, like she always does. Unless, you know, unless her whole team's different or something. I know she's probably gonna have at least one Pokemon that's different. I think it's how it was in her first rematch. I'm not sure. But this is it, guys. The final challenge. My final battle in this game. I'm about to face my nightmares. Oh boy. I am so scared, dude. I struggled so hard against the regular Leaf 4. I don't think this is gonna go well. Thank you for coming back, buddy. As you know, I am Sinnoh's champion. Champion. That word carries so much pressure. It doesn't happen often, but whenever a trainer comes to challenge me, I know that they carry with them all their hopes and dreams. And so, 
I respect their passion by giving them my all in battle, without losing the dignity and poise expected from the champion, of course. Forgive me for airing my petty complaints. I only tell you because you've defeated me before. But I've said too much. The time has come. Please do me the honor of battling my team with all your might. I will, Cynthia. I will. I will battle you as best I can with my blood, sweat, and tears. Oh man, she is terrifying, this, this woman. Yeah, I was right about the Spirit Tomb. I, I still don't have any fairy moves against it. I didn't have to worry about it in Legends Arceus, because in Legends Arceus I had my Arcanine learn uh, some fairy move. But in this one, I'm going to just do what I've done every other time. <laughs> it might not be the best idea, but we're going to Whirlpool it. I remember I did that because I would inflict it with Whirlpool and it would take damage every turn. And then I don't know what the heck I did after that. Spirit Pulse. Okay. See, now is, uh, now is when I don't know what to do. Let's just do Drill Peg. I, I think I remember I wanted to avoid using Ice Beam because I wanted to save those for Guard Chomp. What's this berry? Is it a Citrus Berry? I think it might be. Yeah, okay. It's fine. A Spirit Stream doesn't really scare me as much as her other Pokemon. But I feel like I'm already going to have to heal Rocco. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. At least Whirlpool will be doing some work. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just hit it again and then I'll heal next turn. Okay. Will of the Wisp. Oh no. Mm, burnt. Uh, okay. I'll use a full restore. Yep, taking that damage. Not taking any chances. We're just gonna use a full restore. Okay, Dark Pulse. Okay, that's fine. I think I'll be able to kill this thing without it being too bad. I guess I'll just keep using Drill Pack, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, one down, five to go. I'm like anticipating whatever her new Pokemon is. It, like almost scares me as much as... Oh, Lucario. Oh, Lucario, Lucario. I remember I used to always kill her Lucario in like one attack. Okay, we're gonna do... I'm pretty sure Butter's the one that I used. I can't remember. <laughs> you think I would remember? I, granted, I do remember her fight way more than all the other people. Okay, so Lucario should also not be too bad. Butter's dozing off. It must be sleepy. Oh no. It's because I kept reviving it with the freaking... I think my Pokemon don't like me as much anymore because of all the herbs I've been using. God, that hurt. I'm hoping I can just kill it in one hit. Oh, his defense is foul. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. No. No, no. Oh, I think she might use a full restore after this. I think I'm gonna have to heal better. You know, it'd be great if she also uses a full restore right now, but I don't think she will. Yeah, no. Oh my God, holy shit. Why? 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 This guy is like, this guy is like one HP left. This guy is like one HP left. It's like one HP, guys. I could do Lucario against Lucario. I feel like hers is going to be faster than mine, though. Should I just do it? <laughs> I don't know if this is really the time for me to be fooling around, though. Okay, well, well let's go. Of course she goes first. She's going to kill my Lucario because of that. Oh my god. Lucario is supposed to be the easy one. Her defenses are falling so hard. I can't even get a hidden. I just want to kill it. I just, she has like one HP. One HP. I just need to kill it. I just need to kill it. I think Lubby's kind of quick, right? And her focus, whatever. Dude, I just need to kill it. I just need to kill this thing. We'll do Thunderbolt. You're still faster than me. She's still faster. She's still faster. Okay, okay, okay. Close combat shouldn't work on Bloon. Earthquake shouldn't work on Bloon. Dude, just kill this thing. Just kill this thing, please. Meteor Mash. Oh, thank God. Thank God. She already wiped half my freaking team with this thing with one HP. I can't believe it. I can't believe That should not have happened. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Porygon Z. I guess that's her new Pokemon. I don't know. I might do the thing. <laughs> I might do the thing where I sacrifice Bloon and start reviving. Dude, Porygon Z looks so silly. It's like Porygon on drugs. I'm gonna have to just start reviving Pokemon. I can't believe that Lucario, like, <laughs> like, did what it did. I just can't believe it. Oh god, man. I just get to see what the moves are. Okay. 
Well, there goes Bloon. Thanks for the two free heals, Bloon. <laughs> now, what do I use against this thing? I actually just don't know what to do against this. <laughs> I don't know what to do against Porygon Z. Oh, I know. I don't know. I don't think Pepper's a good idea. I get to intimidate it. I just realized her Porygon Z is level 85. Oh, God. I don't know. Do you think close combat? <laughs> I always consider using Substitute, but I never know. Yeah, she's faster. Hyper Beam! I think she will move next turn with Hyper Beam, though. She's gonna kill Butter. She's gonna kill Butter. She's gonna go. Butter toughed it out! Butter toughed it out! Oh, that did good. Okay, close combat didn't do so bad, but she's gonna be faster than me and she's gonna go first. I don't remember when she starts using her full restores, like if it's like now or later. I know she uses like what, like two or something? Wait, no! Wait a minute. She's not gonna get to go this turn because she used Hyper Beam. I'm gonna kill it. 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 Yes. Oh, dude, I almost forgot about that. I almost forgot about that. I was about to do something. I was about to waste the turn by like, he, like reviving somebody else or something. Oh, thank God I remembered. Okay. Whew. Not so bad. Not so bad. Sort of. I almost killed Pepper, but dude, I, can't, I still can't get over that Lucario thing. Like what a what a disaster. <laughs> I should have just switched to Bloon. Melodic. I revived Lubby. I remember I used Lubby against Melodic before. I know her Melodic has like that life orb or whatever the heck. So I think for her, I know I'm not gonna be able to kill her in one hit. Oh man, I don't know. Now let's go. Oh, she gets to go first. God, she gets to go first. Okay, it doesn't hurt so much though. Okay, cool. And now she's burnt. <laughs> and now she's by the flame orb, not the not the other thing. I feel like I should just attack again, right? Oh man. Recover. Oh no. I don't think she's used that ever before in any of the times I fought her. Oh I didn't heal her all the way though. Okay, we're just gonna keep thunderbolting. Okay. I think even if she spams recover, I could still win probably. Okay, thunderbolt. There it is. <laughs> There's the forest store. Okay, whatever. You're just making this drag on, Cynthia. You're just making this drag on. Okay. What, burnt again? Jeez. Does that just, does a flame orb just constantly burn you all the time? Recover? She's just gonna keep healing it over and over. She's using my strat. She's using my strat of healing it over and over. I gotta be able to kill this thing eventually. Maybe she'll just blow both her full restores and melodic. There's recover again. My god. My god. Uh, we're, we're, we're slowly chipping away at it technically. It's gonna eventually die even if she keeps using recover. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep going. We've got 7 PP on this left. Scald, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh god, we're burnt. Okay, it's fine. We should finally be able to kill it this time. Okay, there we go. Togekiss. Okay, I just- I don't like how my team's looking right now. <laughs> Thing is, my two most important ones for Garchomp are still alive, at least for the most part. So I might keep Lubby out, even though Lubby's gonna for sure die. And maybe use the turn to like heal somebody or maybe revive somebody. Like, I might revive Pepper. I'll have to give that a try. I don't remember what I did with Togekiss last time either. That's the problem. You know, I could also... I don't know why I don't try this. I could try using a full restore on Lubby. Let's see. I just... I don't remember what her Togekiss does is the problem. I guess we'll find out. Aura Sphere. Oh no. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. In fact, I think Lubby can actually just keep tanking that. Maybe I will take the opportunity to just start healing my Pokemon. Okay, I'm healing Pepper first. Dazzling Gleam. Oh god. Ugh. Okay, healing Lubby again. Can you use the Aura Sphere, Cynthia? <laughs> Lubby can take that one a lot better than Dazzling Gleam. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Look, I just I need you to just use Aura Sphere, please. She's gonna keep using Dazzling Gleam. She's gonna keep using it. She's gonna keep using it. She's gonna keep using it. Look, Cynthia, I need you to use Aura Sphere, okay? Please. Oh my gosh, she's gonna keep using it. I think this thing, this move only has 10 PP. 
I think it's the move I gave Arcanine in Legends Arceus. She's really gonna just keep using this. She's really gonna just keep using this. We can be her all day, Cynthia. We can be her all day. Finally, Aurasphere! Now, I just sat there and just continuously healed up freaking Lubby after every Dazzling Gleam. Okay, we're healing Rocco. So Rocco's nice and full health. Blech. Okay, I'm reviving Fist. And then all we have left to revive is Bloon, and then we'll be <laughs> nice and fully healed for Garchomp. Oh god. I like how I'm just using this Togekiss to just heal my whole party. Okay, guys, she's using Air Slash. I don't know if that means she's out of Aura Spheres, but I did it. My whole party is revived. Take a look. All revived and healthy, <laughs> except Flubby, I guess. Apparently three of Lubby's moves are super effective against this thing. So maybe I'll keep Lubby out, but not before healing him. <laughs> okay, hope, as long as she doesn't get him down to like half health or something, I'm gonna... Oh, there's Aura Sphere. I'm gonna try hitting it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna do Thunderbolt. Let's give it let's give it a whirl. I don't remember what the heck I did to Togekiss last time. Cause I think in her first rematch, you also have Togekiss. Or she also has to I flinched! Oh my god. Can I like can you not flinch, Lubby, please? Where'd that R sphere go? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. It's a good thing that isn't very effective at all. Okay, Thunderbolt, come on. Air please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Not very effective. Lumpy flinched. Why? <laughs> Why? Bro, just let me attack you. I want to play it safe, guys. I don't want to like... Yeah, I won't use a max potion. I use a hyper potion. Yeah, there we go. I used a hyper potion instead of a max potion. To save some of my max potions. Okay, Aura Sphere. Now use... Now, now she uses Aura Sphere. Now she uses Aura Sphere. Okay. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to attack this thing eventually. And hopefully I heard it. Okay, there's Air Slash. Okay. Hey, dude, please, please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Oh my god. I just want to see how this does. Okay. Dude, if I can just hit it one more time. I, what? What is that? What is that? Citrus Berry? No, Leftovers. Oh, she, you know, she might use a floor store, which I kind of hope she does. Just so... Oh, she's not going to use one. I was going to say just so she doesn't use one on Garchomp. Oh, man. But you know what? I, I didn't flinch, so I can kill Togekiss. Oh my god, okay. Man, that Togekiss is level 86. I just I just saw it before he died. How high level is her Garchomp gonna be? There it is, guys. There it is. The final boss. The final big boy. My team is ready. I think, hopefully. I'm really scared, guys. Okay, I'm really nervous. Just so you know, I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna worry about healing Lubby. Okay, I think we're just gonna send Butter in immediately and try to use Earth Power. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Okay. This is like the moment of truth. If I can beat Karnchop, then I win. Who knew getting backed into a corner could be so much fun? Yeah, whatever, you freaking masochist. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's level 88, okay. She's gonna be faster though. I know she's gonna be faster. I know she's gonna be faster. Just don't. Okay, okay. That that shouldn't. That's not gonna kill. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna make him you know <laughs> annoying, but it's not gonna hurt butter. Oh, I forgot about this berry. I actually completely forgot about that berry. Ah, uh, yikes. Oh man. You know what would be great if she just uses sword stance again. <laughs> No, not yet. I won't let you end things this easily. Just don't kill butter. Just don't kill butter. Whatever you do, just don't kill butter. Earthquake. Oh, no. This is not good. 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 Okay. 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 I'm going to send out Lobby to intimidate it, and I'm going to just immediately revive butter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm playing it really safe this time. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're going to just immediately revive butter. There's Earthquake. I mean, Lobby's gonna die. <laughs> There's no questions there. Okay, back to Butter. <laughs> Let's try Ice Beam again. <gasps> please, please let me go first. Please let me go first. Please let me go first. Yeah, am I gonna get to go first? Please, yes! Yes! Yes, guys, I won! Oh my god! Dude, 
You guys have no idea how worried about this guard chump I was. And considering how much trouble the Alakazam gave me with Lucian. Oh my god. Dude, I can't even describe how that felt. Well, I mean, you guys probably have experienced how that feels. But for me, like, <laughs> dude, I was so worried about this thing. Oh my god. Dude, that quick claw came in clutch though. Oh my god. I like how I had less trouble with her guard chomp than I did with the Alakazam. <laughs> Dude, that poor freaking Togekiss, I used that poor thing to just heal everybody up. It was probably overboard, but I wasn't gonna take any chances against this bitch. Oh my god. I feel like I had less trouble with her than I did with the actual Elite Four. Is it was it, is that just me? Like, am I wrong about that? Was it like that for you guys? Am I just perceiving it incorrectly? I swear I had more trouble with the other people than her. Maybe it's because I, I prepare for her more than anything. Or I, I mentally prepare for her more than anything. Wow. I was really worried I wasn't going to win, guys. Man, first try. Oh my god. That went above and beyond my expectations. What a marvelous battle. Is this new music for the second rematch victory oh man 17k i did it guys oh man i was so worried oh my god i could tell from this battle that each of our pokemon gave every last bit of their strength not once did either of our teams hesitate thank you for such a refreshing experience i know now that i can entrust my sticker to you <laughs> hey, yes stickers <laughs> thanks cynthia i've imbued it with everything that made me a champion please accept it wow champion sticker did she ever give me one of these before now then, step onto the left. Oh man, I've beaten Cynthia with all her teams. I've beaten Volo. Man, does Volo have a rematch? Oh my God, I was really worried I wasn't gonna have to do that, guys. Can I please save? Cause I know I don't have an auto save on. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I actually expected to not win because of how hard I struggled against Lucian. I was like, dude, if I'm struggling that hard against Lucian, like, what am I gonna do against Cynthia? The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Is this gonna be the exact same conversation that I've read like twice before now? Vinny, your last battle was splendid. And like, she always gets surprised. Yeah, I swear it's the same conversation. Yeah, dude, it's the same exact conversation. Yeah, so far the dialogue has been exactly the same. No matter how many times I come here, I always find myself standing up straighter than usual. Well, this is the last time you're coming here, Rowan, so <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts. It's a natural reaction, Professor. This room is a legacy to the hopes, dreams, and struggles of Pokemon and their trainers to excel. Biddy, welcome to the Hall of Fame. I've been here before, Cynthia, but at least two times before. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Oh man, this is it guys, the final Hall of Fame. Oh my god. At least in Sinnoh. Wow. The guard chomp fight wasn't as bad as I was predicting. Rocco! Lubby! Fist! Bloon! Pepper! Butter! Yeah, I feel like Butter was a little bit less of a v MVP this time, but he's still the MVP, baby! I feel like this time our whole team came together and actually worked together to beat the entire Elite Four. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway. Just all of them, even Fist. Our poor little Pokemon that always gets like, kind of <laughs> shoved in the background. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. I'm so happy, guys. You have no idea how worried I was. I was like, oh my god, I don't think I'm going to win against Cynthia. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm like in disbelief about it. Like, I, I don't think it's even fully hit me. Oh my god. Like, the adrenaline rush from fighting her ground chomp never even, like, arrived. I just ended up killing it before anything. I'm so happy, guys. Wow. It's finally over, guys. I did it. Dude, I didn't think I would be able to do it. I wasn't even planning on doing this rematch. I'll be honest. Like... I was pretty content just beating the league the first time and the first rematch. And I was like, you know what? I'm okay without doing the second rematch. Like, it's fine. Granted, part of it was because I just really wanted to go play Legends Arceus. But I wasn't really planning on coming back to do this rematch. But I was like, you know what? People want to see it. And I hear it's like incredibly hard, like way harder than the first two times. So I was like, you know what? I feel like I haven't really, <laughs> I feel like I haven't really beaten this game until I've actually done that rematch. 
So yeah, here we are. I'm so happy though. It was definitely harder than the first two matches though. Like the first match and the first rematch. It was definitely harder, especially the first four people, like the actual lead four before Cynthia. They were way more annoying. Like, especially Flint, man. I think after this, I'm going to go and like look up their teams for like each of the matches to like compare them because the problem is I can't actually remember their teams. I've already completely forgotten what their first team even was. It's like, I remember Flint just like only had like what, like one fire type or something, but he had like a full team of fire types this time. I didn't notice that. I don't remember for the first rematch. Dude, I can't believe that Alakazam, like that thing almost wiped me just on the spot with Lucian. Like that was so annoying. I don't know why that thing hit like a freaking truck, but we got through it. <laughs> we got through it, dude. And I can't believe that Lucario, dude. I'm so <laughs> Every time I think about it, I'm just in disbelief. I'm just sitting there talking all this shit like, oh, this is the easy one. This is Cynthia's easiest Pokemon. I always obliterate it. Even, even the first time I fought her, I think I killed it like right away, right? And God, it almost wiped me, or at least it wiped half my team with one HP too. I was like, bro, just let me get a hit in. Just let me get a hit in and I'll kill you. Like. <laughs> That was so annoying. That like set me back more than like it needed to, I feel. I still love how I used her Togekiss though to just heal up everybody. I was like, you know what? Lovey can tank these hits just fine. I'm gonna just take this opportunity. I'm not, I wasn't gonna take any chances with that Garchomp, man. Like after, after that Alakazam did what it did and the Lucario, I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to kill that Garchomp and I'm gonna make sure I have a full healthy team to do so. And yeah, I mean, yeah, Lovey wasn't at full health when I, Fought it, but I'm not, I wasn't gonna fight it with Lobby, so like it's fine. But I did it. I, I, I'm still in like disbelief about the guard chomp. I was like really worried that it was gonna be like the first match against her where I was gonna keep having to like revive over and over and intimidate it over and over. Even though I didn't, I didn't intimidate it over and over the first match. I didn't think to do that, but I was gonna do it this time if it went <laughs> not as smoothly as it did. But I did it and I'm so happy. Oh my god. But yeah, there you have it, guys. My rematch against the Elite Four. <laughs> I don't know how good I did. I know I cheesed a lot of that. I know I heavily abused those revives and those potions. It wasn't really the most honorable of battles, but you know what? <laughs> All's fair in love and war, baby. I just wanted to win and I was willing to do whatever it took to win. So <laughs> I'm sorry if it was kind of lame that I used so many items, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to do whatever it takes. I bought all those items last time and I barely used them. So I was going to take full advantage of them this time and I did it. And I am very proud of myself. <laughs> I'm just so happy. There's probably a few things I probably could have done better overall, but you know, whatever. I'm done now. <laughs> oh, there's my mom going home one last time. Dude, I need to save. Oh. I'm super famous now, mom. Are you proud of me? All right, we're back home. Our adventure is finally over, guys. We've become the champion a good three times. We're super famous now. Mom can retire and keep berating us every chance she gets. We're done. Our Pokemon can finally take a break and just relax after getting beaten up by Garnchop and Alakazam. Oh man, I'm really happy I played this game. I also loved that I played this and then played Legends Arceus and then came back to this. Like, even though they're two different games, it kind of felt like one giant series in a way. Like, I don't know if that makes sense because they're kind of connected a little bit. And I don't know, like it was it was nice. I'm really glad I did it that way. It felt like a very nice full experience of like the Sinnoh region. Anyway, now that I've checked out all that there is to see in this game, that's it, guys. It's finally over for <laughs> Brilliant Diamond and Pearl. I hope you guys enjoyed my rematch against the League. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos and watching this series. It means a lot that you guys stick around and comment and stuff. The next game I plan to play is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. So look forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.